Hi everyone, it's Intang Mayumi. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today's card is super fun and simple to make. I have this rubber stamp from Art Impressions that I haven't used yet. So I decided to make a card from the stamp set. This one is uh, one of their girlfriend's stamps and it's called Comfy on the Couch Set. I love this ladies laughing on the couch with their pajamas on. This rubber stamp is a good size and will take up your whole A2 size panel. I mounted my stamp on my Stamp Perfect and I will ink it up with Versafine Onyx Black Ink. And for the panel, I'm using 140 pounds Stratmore watercolor paper. And I did stamp it a few times to get good crisp impression. I colored the lady's skin and hair with my Zig Queen Color Real Brush Markers and for the couch and their clothes and uh, their uh, shoes and accessories, I colored them with my Daniel Smith watercolor paint. I will be back when the coloring is done or you can also skip this part if you want to. After the coloring is done, I pull out my stitch rectangle dies from Gina Marie Designs and I use the largest one from the, uh, the set. 
For the sentiment, I'm going to use one of the sentiment from the stamp set that says, Life's too short to act normal. I will stamp the sentiment with Versamark ink on a scrap of dark blue shimmery cardstock that I have on my desk. And before I stamp my sentiment, I use my powder tool first to help me with the static. And I will emboss it with Wow Opaque Bright White Embossing Powder and heat set it with my heat gun. I use my Fiskars trimmer to cut my sentiment a little bit smaller and then cut the ends on an angle with my scissor. And then I'm going to pop up my sentiment using foam tape. But before I adhere my sentiment on my panel, I'm going to adhere my colored panel first on an A2 size card base. And then I'm just using uh, dry adhesive on the sides and a little or a lot of the liquid glue because um, my, my colored panel is a little bit warped and I want it to be flat on my card base as much as possible. And I can now adhere my sentiment on my card and I'm placing it on the upper right corner of the card. For the inside of the card, I will just stamp the girls on the couch again with Memento London Fog ink. And this ink is a subtle ink, so you can still write your message over it and the recipient can still see it. I made three cards from the stamp set because might as well make three cards while the stamp set is out. So these are my cards that I made today. They are all the same except the other one. I used pattern paper on the background and colored my images with Copic markers. I hope you like today's cards and as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.